Hey guys, yo, what is up? And welcome to another round of Jump Inside Gaming News, where we give you all the best bits of news related in gaming in the past fortnight. Let's get on with the show. Twelve years later, a Titanic Easter egg has been found in Skyrim. A gamer online has made a great catch, noticing a fun Titanic Easter egg in Skyrim, twelve years after the game was first released. Just when many had thought all of Skyrim's best Easter eggs were discovered, another member of the community has gone and found another. Posting on Reddit, is this a Titanic Easter egg? Yes, so someone has played Skyrim and they found out a new easter egg and do you know what, it's kind of cool the fact that even all these years later after seeing how much this game has evolved and how many mods have been uh, put into the game and all that kind of stuff that this game still has easter eggs that we still haven't found. I feel like we must have got all the easter eggs by now and then this happens and then Maybe there's a few more. I wouldn't know. Maybe there's a secret Easter egg that nobody knows about except the dev team. But you know what? I think it's cool. Anyway, there you go. That is an Titanic Easter egg right there on Skyrim. Moving on to the next piece of news. NES Tetris has finally been beaten after 34 years. A 13-year-old Tetris player named Blue Scooty has reached the kill screen on level 157 of the classic NES Tetris, making a historic milestone for the game. This achievement holds great significance for the Tetris community, as there were moments when they thought reaching this point was impossible. Considering the circumstances, it can be argued that Blue Scooty may have beaten Tetris. So if you're not familiar with Tetris, then Tetris' highest level, well normally the highest level, is around level 30, except people came up with different types of ways to get past level 30, and they've got to level... Um, like, I don't know, 100 or 90, and then some people invented ways to get past those levels until it just became absolutely crazy, people were getting into the 100 areas, and eventually they worked out that a screen freeze or something, I wasn't quite sure exactly what that meant, but a frozen screen would mean that you've actually beaten the game, the game would crash, and you, would, the player would be victorious. And this happens around that level 156, 157 mark. And this kid incredibly played Tetris all the way to level 157, crashed the game and beat Tetris, which is a very rare thing to do because Tetris hasn't actually been beaten before. So awesome for that. I think the highest level Tetris can physically go to is somewhere around 255. You can read more of this uh, because I put all the news links down in the description, so go check that out if you wanna read that. Of course, there are so many videos about this on YouTube. Uh, if you wanna read more into this, again, check out YouTube because there'll be other videos relating to this topic. This is an incredible feat for uh, someone who has just beaten Tetris, so I applaud someone who has beaten a 34 year old game so there you go anyway let's move on with the next piece of news all confirmed grand theft auto 6 animals from the trailer so far european herring gull loggerhead sea turtle common bottlenose dolphin tiger shark brown pelican american flamingo spotted duck pink heron miniature pincher dog Green Iguana, West Indian Manatee, North American Alligator, Key Deer, Wild Pig, Unknown Urban Bird. Yes, there are lots of animals in Grand Theft Auto 6. That was a list of them. And I'm really excited to actually uh, see how many animals maybe the community has discovered in total. That's just the list right there in that particular news article. Again, you can see all those news articles down in the description. Um, but 
I think it's awesome that there are loads of animals in this trailer because now we can confirm, or at least I hope we can confirm, that there are going to be lots of animals in this game. I don't know how that's going to play out, but at least we're going to get the chance to witness a lot more wildlife in a Grand Theft Auto game. So that's all exciting, yay! And we'll move on to the next and last bit of news. Mysterious Halo Battle Royale is dead, allegedly. Halo Infinite doesn't have a Battle Royale mode, but a mysterious Halo project codenamed Halo Tatanka from a collaboration between both 343 Industries and Certain Affinity could have given us that chaotic King of the Hill experience. Unfortunately though, the unannounced Halo Battle Royale may never come to the light after all as a recent podcast reveals that Tatanka was allegedly cancelled. Yes, it turns out the Halo Project Tatanka is going to be cancelled. Now, I haven't looked a lot into Tatanka but I've heard from what I've read so far that it is a battle royale version of Halo which I think A would be super cool and B I'd love to play that game I'm a big fan of Halo and I haven't played Halo in ages and I think that would be a perfect game to get me back into that game even if it is multiplayer it's a Halo game and I love Halo I haven't played any recent Halo games so I'm hoping that that might get me back into it. But other than that, I think it's super cool what's happening in that area. Um, I will say this. It does say allegedly, which actually the description for it allegedly is this. Allegedly used to convey that something is claimed to be the case or have taken place, although there is no proof. So it might not be cancelled, it's just it doesn't have any proof if it's been cancelled or not. So it could still be ongoing or they could be working on some kind of different project. I haven't fully really looked into it, all I know is accordingly and allegedly it's been cancelled. So whatever you take from that is up to you. I really hope that they have some kind of plan to make a Battle Royale Halo game because I think that would be awesome. Anyway, there you go. That's all the news for you right there. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit subscribe because every time you subscribe, it shows support to this channel and we grow in the algorithm. And if you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to like the video if we've told you something that you didn't know about because I'm hoping that's what the case is. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys on another video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.